close your eyes. Hold hands with the person next to you. Can you tell what color that person is? Can you tell what religion that person is? Can you tell what nationality that person is? I got into this, like a sea of nations. Whether you're a believer or not, Christian or Muslim or Jew, we just come here to live together. Building faith in, in some people here is I think the thing that affected me the most. The United World College was definitely one of the best experiences of my life. Our role is not to abandon our own national, linguistic, ethnic, religious, racial, whatever defining characteristics each of us come from. What we're trying to do is bring together the most promising teenagers from around the world give them an opportunity to grow and learn about one another, about a variety of cultures from around the world, and through their experiences together, build a network of tomorrow's decision makers. We have approximately 2,000 students on 10 campuses worldwide. Each of the campuses, therefore, has approximately 200 students. Uh, here in the United States this year, for example, we have 200 students from 84 countries. Tomorrow is our national day. We are, just going, to, we are going to be celebrating 39 years of independence. The initial moment of reunification with probably many of you know the fall of the Berlin Wall. It's the principle of bringing young people together from around the world to come together to discover one another, to come to, together to understand one another, to empathize with one another, to break through barriers, as many of these students do coming from conflict regions. Uh, they are able to break through barriers that generations have prevented them from, from doing because they meet each other face to face. Israel took more than me. The war broke the day after and then we got more land. It's not clear for me what's going to hurt you. If I were to go and say there that I think that 100% uh, of Palestinians support terrorist attacks, wouldn't you get hurt? I do believe that we can inspire and encourage and, and even help provide some of the skills for young people to uh, contribute to peace building, peace making. The first step is to come closer. <laughs> Second step, talk to each other that's that live together and that's what we're doing here it's so clear to me that as we enter the 21st century that we're in a global world where people have to get along together better and hey, the one way to start that process is to ed educate each other about their similarities and their differences and build tolerance for differences as you move forward to try to create peace in the world we're standing in front of you today and looking towards the future, not the past. We are here to tell you that we believe in peace. I feel enlightened to know so much about so many different things. This place just makes you uh, accept ev every culture, every individual, every, every country, you know, as they are. I didn't know why the Israelis and the Palestinians were fighting. I had no idea. I didn't know that Lesotho was a country. They came here naive, wanting to do something, but didn't know what the world had out there, all the nationalities, all the different religions, all the different cultures. They leave here saying, we know about these cultures. We can never look at the world the same way again. I'm from the United States. Italia. I'm from the United States. Uh, I'm from Lebanon. Namibia. Albania. Mexico. Bahamas. Nicaragua. Hong Kong. Bolivia. Jordan. Colombia. Serbia. I'm from Singapore. I'm from Botswana. Now, now, what does that tell you? What does that mean? More than a hundred. 
F seventeen, F eleven, B seven. But you remember, English is a stress time language, so you can swallow a lot of it. The curriculum we've adopted at the United World Colleges is called the International Baccalaureate Diploma Program. Remember that the IB is trying to test whether you can think mathematically. Okay, it's not testing your memory. They study for two years these six courses. They have two languages, a natural science, a social science, a humanities, a mathematics, uh, uh, and another elective out of those. You buy more of it only if it's an inferior good. In a sense, a high school level liberal arts curriculum. Enjoying it, smiling. That may be painting a negative picture of women, but that it also may be painting a very negative picture of men. It's like a huge debate in the Muslim world too, whether we should... Really what happens here and what makes the United World Colleges worthwhile and interesting is that it weaves together uh, a bunch of people who would never have otherwise come together, whose thinking would never have been shared. Because we could easily do two days on many of these topics as well. What we try to do at the same time that that sharing takes place is to encourage each student who comes from a different language, a different culture, a different race, a different ethnicity, a different religion, uh, a different nationality, to in fact articulate well their own cultures. The idea of social responsibility is also reflecting values that I think are, are important. Not only the cross-cultural understanding, but that understanding of individual obligation to give back in whatever way uh, you can. Don't forget the defense. Okay, okay. Here, I'll play you. I'll play you. I'm white people. I do so much service here because when I go to teacher's aid and when I go to Habitat for Humanity or to pause and I help the animals or I build things or I grade papers, even just grading papers, you see how happy people are that just, wow, she's willing to help. You hold this up in the air if you can. Just hold it up. My hands and your legs. Why was your patient going into shock? Elevated heart. Elevated heart. Elevated pulse. A major accident, traumatic injuries, possible internal injuries, etc., etc., etc. Each of the campuses around the world has a different set of uh, outdoor offerings, but all of them challenge the individual student to learn skills and to demonstrate those skills in which they provide services to others. So in the American campus, we have a search and rescue program in the mountains of the southern Rocky Mountains. 145. 145. D 145, I, I think that's pretty close. 160 is a little bit off. So the United World Colleges are here to shape a better world. And we're not here just to be a school. We're not here just to inculcate a spirit of community service. We're not here just to empower students to feel better about themselves in the wilderness or in their relationships with others. Uh, but they're growing up uh, with a I think a real sense of purpose. I just want to work with children mainly, and if I do go into the psychology part, um, mainly with HIV, AIDS infected or affected children. The Palestinian-Israeli conflict needs some people who, who were exposed to such an experience in the UWC. I want to make a difference. I want to, in some way, large or small, change the world. I ask that you remember your highest ideals. Do not be content with society's ideals. I know all of us have our own. When they're different from the norm, we have to be brave enough to stand up for our ideals. Close your eyes. Hold hands with the person next to you.
what you can feel is human warmth.